Hi guys, I'm Connie and this is Wildflower Loops. Um, it's a gloomier day than I thought it would be today. I went outside and cleaned up my deck. Um, that'll be on here. I'm going to speed up what I filmed today. Um, we also took a trip to Joanne Fabrics because my order was there. Yay! I'm going to show that to you in a second. Um, but I, I filmed on the way there. Uh, but it was raining, and it rained on the way back, so I didn't record that. Um, normally, we take a pretty route home, and the route that we took to go to Joanne Fabrics, which is in Burton, Michigan, which is the closest one to me, um, the whole way there, I recorded our trip down Dort Highway in Flint and then into Burton, Michigan. I'm sure you all have heard of Flint, Michigan um, it's not a scenic place to drive through. There are very, very beautiful places in Flint, Michigan, but for the most part, it's not pretty. It's not a scenic drive, but I filmed it anyways, so you guys can see. Uh, that's the closest, um, big city to me is Flint, Michigan. So anyway... I wanted to show you, um, I have an order for a baby blanket, and I ordered the yarn on Etsy, and it still has not come. Uh, it was shipped through UPS, although I don't have a tracking order, and I'm not really happy about it. Uh, I am not happy about it. So I had to order some more yarn. Um, so I got, these are pastel colors. This is a Pound of Love. It's pastel blue. And this is pastel green. And this is honey bee yellow. So these are, oops, I guess I can hold them all together. These are the colors that she wanted for the baby blanket. So, and I have an antique white that I'll use to trim this out. And I'll show you as I progress through there. Um, I had ordered some scrubby yarn to use with, uh, Mad Mimi, Laura from Mad Mimi's, uh, Crochet and Farming, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I got, a, a back scrubber, um, pattern from her, uh, and in exchange for that, all you have to do is donate one or two or however many you want to make. Uh, to a local charity, so I'm going to do that, but what I did was I ordered uh, the scrubby yarn um, from Walmart because as soon as I saw that they had some, I pounced on it. So I got scrubby yarn, but I got regular scrubby yarn. It's not cotton. And so I started making the Mad Meanie pattern, and then I realized this is not right. This is too... This is not going to be good on your skin. So uh, I realized there are two different kinds. <laughs> so here is my scrubby that I made for my kitchen. <laughs> my kitchen's red, so this is cool. It's fine. <laughs> um, so then I realized that my mistake, and I ordered these. Uh, the one is white, and the other one, I believe, is denim. Yeah, denim. And these are cotton scrubby. Scrubby cotton, whatever. And uh, it's slightly softer than the other scrubby. This, I don't know. Not much. Not much of a difference there. Oh, I didn't realize I got red, white, and blue. And I got some red cotton surgeon cream to go with the scrubby. So I'm going to do Red Wings colors. Yellow cotton. So that's going to be my U of M University of Michigan colors close as I could get it, but, um, my dad's birthday is this week, so he's going to get a back scrubber. Also, 
I got stuff to make. Um, these are head pins. This is to make, I want you to see it closer, but um, these are straight pins to make um, stitch markers. I got glass beads. Lover backs. Okay, so I got these lover backs because there are no lobster claws. I wanted to get both anyway. I was going to get the lever backs. These look tiny. I don't think I'm going to like working with them. We'll see. Uh, I didn't want, I wanted to get both of them, but there were no lobster back um, available. I'm having a hard time finding stuff. Uh, I got this. It's a three in one DIY. I don't know what the three in one is, but. Pinchers and cutters for sure. And I got a couple of things that were on clearance. All of the stuff, I, you know, used coupons and got it way cheaper. But I got these three were on clearance. So butterflies. Heart, turquoise hearts. I love turquoise and I don't mind a heart once in a while. And these, oops, for Halloween. Thought I'd make some Halloween stitch markers. So that's what I'm working on today. I am manic. Uh, I got three hours of sleep last night. <laughs> I got maybe three and a half, four hours of sleep the night before. Uh, I try to lay down during the day and take a nap, and mm -mm. Uh, my mind's going 500 miles an hour. Uh, so, I'm keeping active. <laughs> I've gotten so many phone calls uh, accomplished, so many, th I got us a burn permit this morning. I, it's it's just noon and I've gotten a full day's work in already, um, which is not bad. I'm not complaining about that, but uh, uh, being manic is not fun. Not getting any sleep is not fun, um, but I'm not crying. <laughs> being manic means no crying, so <laughs> that's a good thing. I am bipolar, um, so I get the... Whew, the roller coaster ride of up and down and up and down and up and down. So I'm up right now. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> um, but that includes no sleep. It's okay. Uh, I don't. I I have insomnia anyway, so I don't sleep a whole lot anyway. I might get six hours of sleep on a good night. Um, but when I'm manic. And that, that's not all strung together three hours. That's a half an hour here, 15 minutes here, uh, uh, two hours uh, later reading, I'm sleepy, I'll fall asleep for half an hour. You know, it's, it's broken up all night long. It's, it's a roller coaster ride. So I'm on the upswing. It's good. I'm going to get some stitch markers made and um, hopefully this video is not too dark. Like I said, it is dreary out. <sighs> um, not matching my mood for sure. The outside weather is not matching my mood. Pick it up. Give me some sunshine. Okay, uh, uh, the rest of this video is probably going to be all sped up. Um, I hope you all have a good day. I will come back and show you. Oh, let me show you my dodgy bag. Uh, I know Neva mentioned it before. Uh, let me show it to you. Because I showed it on uh, Instagram <laughs> and Facebook, but I don't think I showed it on here. It is a crazy bag. So uh, these are sleeping cats and playing cats and kitties because I love kitties 
And then this, the top of it is also cats, but you know, they're upside down. So the inside of the bag, they're right side up. And uh, I put uh, pockets in here. I uh, you can't see it. Another one on this side. Pocket. And then <laughs> this drawstring <laughs> covers are like, wow, what happened here, lady? <laughs> They're supposed to be just big enough to cover your drawstring straps. These. Yeah, wow. Like, wow. <laughs> so, whatever. There's my there's my wonky bag, my dodgy bag. Uh, I didn't put box bottom on it either. Uh, this is my very first sewing project as an adult. <laughs> very first bag. Very first sewing anything on a sewing machine because I. I used to break uh, sewing needles every time I used a sewing machine. My sister bought me a sewing machine and I said I'm going to figure out how to work it and I did and uh, it's, it's going better now. <laughs> uh, I followed uh, Little Drops of Wonderful tutorial very loosely. I do not claim that I followed her measurements uh, at all. I took her video and uh, Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. I watched both of them. I threw their measurements out the window and ran with it. So <laughs> I, I get, yeah, there it is. There's my dodgy bag. Dodgy, dodgy bag. Looks like a pillowcase kind of. But uh, it fits a lot of stuff and I'm happy with it. And it's just for me so who cares. Um, so, uh, hopefully I'm better at making the stitch markers and I can gift some of those. <laughs> I hope. We shall see. It's an adventure. Woo! <laughs> uh, I hope you all enjoy the rest of this video. Have a wonderful day. And I hope that you are able to stay home. If you're not, please be safe. Be careful. Um, keep your face covered. Wash your hands when you get home. Um, be safe. And uh, take care of your family. And be kind to one another. And listen to me ramble on and on telling you how to live your life. <laughs> I, ho I hope, I hope, this is what I hope for you. I hope that you stay safe. I hope that you stay well and healthy. Uh, I'm not trying to tell you what to do live your life. I don't want you telling me how to live my life. So you do you, baby. <laughs> I'll see you later.